Your Clubhouse bio is likely your most important asset on the platform, so it's important that you optimize it, and that's why today I'm gonna to share several tips to help you write a killer bio so you can connect with the right people and build your community on Clubhouse. My name is Luke Sievers, and I'm here to help entrepreneurs grow their brand through social media and content marketing. So be sure and subscribe so you don't miss any tips to help you build your brand online. Now there's no one size fits all to writing a clubhouse bio. So what I'm going to do is provide you with some key tools that you can apply to your goals on clubhouse so that you can write a great bio that attracts your audience. And knowing your audience is going to be key for this first point, which is to optimize the first three lines of your bio. These first three lines are all that appear when someone taps on your profile photo on Clubhouse. And it's basically your elevator pitch to convince someone to follow you, or at the very least, click to expand your bio to learn more. But to optimize it correctly, we need to consider why people on Clubhouse follow anyone to begin with. You see, when your audience clicks on your bio, they're asking themselves one of these three questions. One, is this a networking opportunity? You know, Clubhouse is great for networking and many people are on there to make these key connections. And so they're wondering, will being connected to you lead them to future opportunities? Two, can I learn from this person? You know, people know that by following you, they're going to see the rooms that you're a part of. And so that's another opportunity for them to glean the knowledge that you have on a certain topic. And the third question many people are asking is, could I see this person becoming a friend? Especially during these unique times, many people are joining Clubhouse to become a part of a larger community and to make actual friends. And so if we know that these are the questions that someone is asking, we can use the first three lines of our bio to answer them using these strategies. Number one, clout and social proof. Now this answers the question of whether you are an influential person that would be a key connection for them. Examples could be 100,000 subscribers on YouTube or CEO of Tesla. Now I generally recommend not using your title or position here such as CEO or founder unless it's of a large recognizable company. Otherwise, I think this would be a waste of this important real estate. The key here is not to focus on the things that make us feel important, but the things that other people are going to see value in. The second approach you can take is the value add. Now this is where you share how you can make someone's life better and it helps other people know that you're someone that they can learn from. Examples of a bio like this could include, I help startups grow to six figures, or I host clubhouse rooms educating people on cryptocurrency. The third strategy is to share fun or interesting facts about yourself. An example that I use is Star Wars nerd. And of course, this is going to attract other people interested in Star Wars. Another example, I once hiked to the top of Mount Everest. Again, this appeals more to our desire for connection. By sharing these details, you're showing that you're an interesting person and a real person. And it's often the specific details that cause people of common interest to want to follow you. The cool thing is, since you have three lines to work with, you may choose to hit on each of these three strategies on each line. All right, I know we've spent a lot of time on this first tip, but it's only because I think it's the most important. Don't worry, we're going to fly through these next several tips. But before we do, if you've gotten any value out of this so far, be sure and hit that like button. Tip number two, in your Clubhouse bio, you should give one main call to action. I recommend placing this just underneath the first section of your bio. That way it's the first thing people see when they expand your profile. And this call to action can be different depending on what your goals are on Clubhouse. But if you're an entrepreneur, I recommend making this call to action your lead magnet. That way you have the option to continue the conversation with that person outside of Clubhouse. For me, I've made my call to action an invitation to join my private Facebook group for social media marketers and content creators. By the way, if you want to be a part of our community, you can join by clicking the link in the description below. But in your bio, you want to make it as easy as possible for someone to opt into your lead magnet. Use an easy URL that someone can type into their mobile browser or direct them to your Instagram bio to find the link. And I've also seen people provide a number to text so people can opt into an SMS list. Clubhouse unfortunately doesn't allow clickable links, and so you need to get creative to make it as easy as possible for people to take action. Number three, include an expanded bio. Now obviously your most important information should be above the fold in your first three lines, but you may also want to provide an additional bio or about section in case someone wants to tap to learn more. 
Here, you wanna expound upon what I shared before to answer the question of why you're someone that they should follow. So touch on the specifics of how you make someone's life better, or maybe include a client testimonial for how you help them get from point A to point B, or you can even share a more personal story that you feel like is going to make that personal connection with someone. But with all of this, in your Clubhouse bio, it's important that you don't write a book and include too much information. Instead, you wanna use bullet points or one to two line sentences rather than paragraphs. I can almost guarantee that if you make your bio too long or you use these large bulky paragraphs, nobody's gonna to wanna to read it. It's because it's too overwhelming. So you need to make it easy to read, easy on the eyes, and another strategy to help you do this is to beautify your bio. Definitely use emojis where appropriate, and you can even format your sections using bold headings to give it some visual appeal. To accomplish this, visit lingojam.com slash bold text generator, and this will allow you to copy and paste over the bold text to your bio. Number six, insert keywords. Clubhouse has a pretty decent search feature, and it's going to show results based on the info in people's bios. So based on the audience that you wanna connect with on here, make sure you're intentional about inserting keywords that someone might be searching for. Now you wanna work these in in a natural way, but one way that I've done this is by creating a list of fun facts about myself. And again, this also serves as a way to show the more personal and relatable side of me. Another thing that I find helpful to include is a list of resources that I frequently mention in Clubhouse Rooms. Since people can only hear my voice, it can sometimes be hard to hear the exact names of any resources that I'm mentioning or know the exact spellings of them, but I can always refer them back to my bio to see the correct spelling. Next, Clubhouse is great for a lot of things, but there are some valid reasons to try and move people off of the platform to continue conversations or close deals. So I also recommend making it clear in your bio how someone can connect with you off the platform. I will say that the most common way seems to be through Instagram, so definitely include the link that Clubhouse provides to your Instagram, but I've also seen people provide their email address, or you may encourage people to connect on LinkedIn. Whatever it is, include a secondary call to action at the bottom of your bio so that people can connect with you further. And speaking of connecting, I would love to connect with you on Clubhouse. Just search the handle at Luke Sievers and I look forward to chatting. And for my final tip, I recommend taking all of the other tips that I mentioned and use it to write alternate bios. Again, in order to make it clear why someone should follow you, you wanna make your bio as targeted as possible towards the audience that you're speaking to on Clubhouse. So if you're about to jump into a room that's about a different topic than what your current bio covers, what you can do is open up your notes app and write an alternate bio that covers this new topic and then just swap it out when the time comes. If you found these tips helpful, I think you'll also wanna check out some of the other videos on screen. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support this channel, and I'll catch you next time.